I think if you were to propose in the early 2000s that there would be technologies that allow you to, allowed you to routinely sequence human genomes for hundreds of dollars to low thousands of dollars uh, a sample, it would have been laughable. The goals in the sequencing field since the start of the Human Genome Project have been to reduce the cost of sequencing to make more and more applications not only accessible, but, but also possible. The idea is that there's a platform now without compromises. No need to compromise on capital equipment costs, no need to compromise on run costs, and most importantly, no need to compromise on data quality. Two independent flow cells, 800 million or more reads per flow cell, data quality in excess of Q40, greater than 90% or 95%, often observed at greater than Q30. Those metrics are, are important for a wide variety of applications. We've, we've launched the platform as a sequencer, but the innovations in the surface chemistry, the innovations in the sequencing chemistry, the avidity basis of the, of the methodology that's used to uh, deliver that high data quality, that can be leveraged in a wide variety of directions. So you can really think of it as more of a science box than a, than a sequencer. So what Element has also done is, is taken an opportunity to, to stay with a benchtop sequencer. Benchtop sequencer, relatively low capital equipment costs, relatively low running costs, and in fact, probably one of the lowest running costs in history in terms of a per experiment basis. So we've just reopened the door to taking risk and taking a chance on new applications because it doesn't cost a lot to run the sequencer. But at the same time, for existing applications, you get a high value uh, for those runs. Even though the, the capital equipment cost is relatively low, uh, especially relatively low to our peers, there's a strong desire to have that same equipment retain its capabilities or even expand on its capabilities in the future. We want to encourage tinkering with the box, right? We want to encourage people being creative with it. Next round of releases into the field is really how the platform's features end up as benefits in scientists' hands.